these have come into review. They're the scale model handbooks from Mr. Black Publications. You may not have seen our other videos where we took a look at some of their other titles in the scale model handbook series. Those were specifically figure books. What's interesting about these two references, as you can see from the title, these are aimed squarely at diorama modelling. We've been sent two different books, Diorama Modelling 1 and the second in the series. And both of them follow the same format. What makes these diorama books different? Well, for a start, whereas the figure books have 52 or so pages, you can see these are much thicker. And that's because they found that they couldn't fit all they wanted to fit in the shorter format. So these books are thicker, more detailed, and with more content. You can see there's quite a selection of pages there. And on the cover you can see that there's all sorts of different artists and figure painters and modelers who are involved in the production. Inside they're characterized by great photography and artwork but also lots of detailed shots and particularly step-by-steps and they're all grouped around a key idea or editorial angle, in this case how to build a World War I German trench in 1 16th scale. Each time you get an introduction and also of course some useful information on the models themselves, who supplied them and the paints and materials used. After that you get a bit of a story on the idea behind the diorama and how it was constructed. The background of this publication house is primarily figures so it's not just about the dioramas. What's a great touch is that the figures are dealt with in detail, often with step-by-steps or how-to guides as well. Obviously armour modellers are an important part of the diorama scene and they're catered for as well. This is a M3 Stuart Honey diorama using the Academy kit. You may think that this is going to be concerned primarily with older historical eras, but actually they've gone to great lengths to include dioramas from different time periods. And there's a good example of how the detail of painting the figures is not overlooked at all. There's as much detail on painting figures as there would be in the dedicated figure painting books. And lots of useful techniques like how to build a tree. And there are examples using this World War II diorama and a Native American scene. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different stories. So that's Diorama Modeling 1, and we'll just quickly show you Diorama Modeling 2, some of the highlights. There's an elephant based diorama from 202 BC, another ancient historical subject from 9 AD, there's a Cossack based diorama. Then you get a 54mm scale diorama. There's a Stalingrad fight to the last diorama. Again, another AFE based diorama for armour modellers particularly. And finally, a more macabre diorama at the end. Again, AFE based. What we like are all these little touches, these little tips that will help you explaining how to build the tree. And you get detailed lists of all the paints. Sculpting a figure is fully explained. And there again, 100 pages or so. That's the Scale Model Handbook Diorama Modeling Series, Volumes 1 and 2, available now.